sometimes you just feel like the worst, most stupid, retarded person alive on the face of the earth. Um, and that's the feeling I have right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today is a big day here on the farm. We are getting the girls pregnant. Me and I'm a Norwegian water buffalo farmer and today is a huge day for me. The vet is on his way and we're gonna artificial inseminate the water buffaloes. Inseminating artificial means that we don't have a bull. We take the sperm and, uh, and we put it in the water buffaloes that are hopefully in heat uh, to make babies. The water buffalo are really hard to, to detect if they're in heat or not. So we've spent the last two weeks giving them hormone shots, leaving them to hopefully get in heat today and tomorrow. So we're gonna inseminate a couple of doses today and a couple of doses tomorrow. This story starts March 15th, early this year, when I took a call to my local food and animal inspectors to, uh, to ask if I could import uh, water buffalo sperm. They obviously didn't have any experience with this. Uh, time went by and I didn't hear anything. Uh, I called, I texted, I emailed, uh, still no word. And after actually a couple of months, I found someone who could tell me that uh, it wasn't their table. I had to talk to someone else. The water buffalo is pregnant for 10 months and I wanted to time it so that the calves were born in the spring so they could grow up with the fresh grass and nice temperatures and also for the moms to graze and eat nutritious food while raising their calves and milking. So for the calves to be born in the spring, I had to get this done by June, July, and I slowly started to realize that uh, that wasn't gonna happen. They made me call someone else. Of course, he was on summer vacation he w and wasn't to be back in, in six weeks. And I waited for six weeks and finally got a hold of him. And uh, he said that uh, he didn't have anything to do with it. I had to call someone else. And uh, long story short, I finally found someone who can help me. They wasn't quite sure what I had to do to get the sperm into the country, but they sent me a bunch of uh, articles and links with rules and regulations and, um, and told me to figure it out myself. Now before I can go to Sweden and pick up the semen, I had to buy a container to keep it in and fill it up with liquid nitrogen to keep it frozen. Now there's actually a bus driving around the whole country selling uh, Norwegian cow semen and liquid nitrogen uh, called the sperm bus. Yep, it's called the sperm bus. Yeah, it's Knut. I'm, uh, I'm the driver from the sperm bus. So I got it filled up with liquid nitrogen and went to Sweden to pick up the sperm. It was sealed from the Swedish uh, Veterinary Institute. They had to take a whole bunch of tests before I could uh, take it in, into the country. I have five cows that are getting it, three cows and two heifers. But I also have four calves and one cow that I'm not impregnating. She's vicious and mean and want to take me out and I'm afraid of her. That's a story for another video. But the main thing is that I have to keep her and the calves separated from the others. I don't have a permanent setup for separating the animals, but I've spent a couple of days now trying to figure out how to do it uh, in the best way with what I have available. And let me give you the grand tour. So the plan is to open this gate. I want the ones that are getting babies in here and the four calves and the cow that aren't getting any to just continue walking straight down there. I'll be standing up here opening and closing the gate so that they get where they are supposed to. Uh, that'll be exciting. The four calves and the cow will continue down here and out that door. And then we close this door to get them out of the picture and hopefully we have gathered the five in here. And now you can hear the excavator. That's also for another episode. So hopefully the five are in here. And then we open this gate and that stops them from going down that path. And we open this gate and have them walk in here. Over to the head gate, put their heads in here. They would probably move around when he puts uh, his whole arm in their hoo-hahs. So uh, this is to help them just stand still while while he works. The cows are used to stand like this. They have been standing here when they have been milked. The heifers 
are two and a half years old and they've never been in one of these. That's my bad. I probably should have trained them uh, a long time ago. But now the day is here and uh, we just have to see how it goes. And when we're done, they go back out. And hopefully everything goes well. They can go back out to the pasture and graze. And hopefully they will be growing something inside the water buffalo. And that we will find out in uh, about three weeks. Sometimes you just feel like the worst, most stupid, retarded person alive on the face of the earth. Um, and that's the feeling I have right now. I have f***ed up before, but uh, this, is, this is really my Bill Buckner moment. I just, uh, I screwed up. <laughs> and it's totally my fault. And it's six months down the drain. And uh, quite a lot of money. I had a funny feeling just as I touched the handles on the containers. Um, mine was freezing cold and the other one was uh, room temperature and when I did open it smoke from uh, the liquid nitrogen was supposed to pour up in my face and it didn't and I touched it and it was warm meaning all the sperm uh, is dead I don't even know why I'm standing here I'm probably not gonna post this video and make it public this is just too embarrassing to to share I just called the company who sent the container. They said it was filled with uh, liquid nitrogen, only that it's a travel container and doesn't contain that much uh, liquid nitrogen as, uh, as my container does. And I guess that's where the mistake happened. The Swedish container was sealed. Um, it's not that much smaller than mine. And I checked mine daily and it clearly was loaded with, uh, with the nitrogen. So, uh, so I didn't think about uh, the smaller one could uh, go empty so fast. They also said that uh, this was the last batch. They were all out of uh, buffalo semen and didn't know when um, they would get more in stock. Um, yeah, I guess I can spend the rest of my day doing something else now. Um, see you in the next one.